Oracle Apex is a developer tool that enables us to create working applications on a database in Oracle and to do that very quickly. So in this video series for rapid application development, we will be using Apex 424. If you want to work along with the videos, there are scripts available that will be run in the first few videos that create tables and populate the tables with data. So I'm logged in as the developer Ashwini and if I were to go back to the team development and do a filter on interactive we'll see that Ashwini is responsible for the interactive reports on workshops and attendances and evaluation information. So we'll go back to the application and we're going to create a report. This will be the default setting which is interactive report. We'll change the page number if you want. You don't have to. This is going to be for workshops, uh, workshop and attendance. I'll activate my breadcrumb feature and then I click next. I'm not going to use a tab. I will create buttons to open the reports, the, both the, the interactive reports and the classic report. I'll go to Query Builder. It says I need to specify my SQL and I'm getting ready to do that with Query Builder. So I'm going to select the workshop attendance and I've already combined the information I want in the view so I'll simply select all those fields. You can also click this and do a check all if you have a lot of fields. I can scroll down to make sure that I have my aliases defined and then I click return and then I click next and create that. So the difference here is I have this search fi filter automatically so I can do something like uh, leadership and see the, anything to do with uh, workshops that have the word leadership in them. Um, and I'll come back and show a little bit more uh, after the next interactive report and talk a little more about the actions features that you have with interactive reports. So I'm going to go back to the application and I'm going to create a page. And this will be a report. It'll be interactive. This will be evaluation information. I purposely make these different names just so it's a little easier to follow when you're looking at the design view uh, where these names actually uh, come into play. Whoops, I need to go back. I want to do my breadcrumb. No tab. I'll make a button. Go to the Query Builder. I'm getting that error message, but it's just jumping the gun because I'm getting ready to provide the data. I'm going to select Evaluations Data, and I'll click on the box in the upper left corner and select All. I can scroll down to verify that I have the aliases that I want. Looks like I need to change this. I can run that to see example output and then I can return and click next and create that interactive report. So I can quickly filter on Barbara and see where she's been an evaluator or she's been an evaluatee. I'm going to remove that filter but I want to show you a few things that you can do under the actions option. I'm going to do a group by and I'm going to group by evaluatee ID and I want to also see the evaluatee last name I could include first name then I want to group by the item ID which would be the thing being scored for that particular person such as uh, reliability professionalism 
So I'm going to select a val, I, uh, not a val, but item ID. And then the functions are I want to do an average of the score. And I want to do a count. And I can just pick a field such as item ID. And then I can apply this. So now I'm seeing that for 10, for item ID 1, we're not sure what that is. It could be reliability. He got his score of 95, but the item count is 1, so there's no real average here. I'm going to quickly do a sort, and I will sort by eval or evaluate TID, so they all come together. So for cry, we have item 2. She's had two evaluations and an average of 85. For item 3, two evaluations with an average of 87.50. So you have a lot of uh, interactive capability here that allows you to display information in a way that's useful to the particular person using the report at that point in time. I can go from this um, summary report, if you will, to back to the data view and then back to this report and I can actually save that report as an end user and have it available to me when I come back. Very powerful uh, feature, the interactive report. Before I end this particular video, I want to come back to the application and I want to edit the home page. I need to add buttons to open the reports that I've created. So I'm going to right click and add a page item button and the first one will be the teams and students. I want it to redirect to a page which is the report page so this will be the uh, teams and student report. If I run this I now have that as a button to open the classic report. I go back home, edit the page. I will now add a button. This will be for the workshop workshop attendance. Redirect to a page and that'll be workshop and attendance. It's a little easier to find those that quickly simply because I did use higher numbers so I know they're going to be at the end of the list. And then I need to add one for evaluation data. So I now have buttons that open each one of those reports, workshops and attendances, evaluations, teams and students.